it's probably something that we all have faced at one point during our lifetime. It usually affects the less fortunate among us, and it's a blight on society. And I'm speaking of hunger. Hello, everybody. My name is James Bryant, and thank you for being here. We have two wonderful individuals sitting down with me, T.A. Nile and Hiram LaRue. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us, James. Your generosity continues to blow me away. So what I would like to do at this point is to, uh, if you can indulge our audience, just, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Hiram, and, and T.A., if you would like to pitch in a little bit, um, just uh, kind of give some context to what we're getting, uh, what we're going to talk about today. Uh, Hiram, um, let us learn a little bit about you, if we could. Sure. Yeah, and again, thank you, James, so much for this opportunity to share. Um, you're going to be hearing here in just a moment about, uh, I think the real reason we're on here today visiting with you is because we're going to be launching a really important art auction to benefit an organization that fights hunger called Feed the Children on Saturday. That launches on Saturday. And we'll hear, you'll, you'll hear more about that uh, launch in the auction in just a few minutes. I'm Hiram LaRue, and I founded an informal initiative called Poetry X Hunger a few years ago to basically rouse poets to the anti-hunger cause. And the result, fast forwarding, is that we now have poems uh, from literally all over the world. Uh, poets have contributed and stepped up uh, on what we call the Poetry X Hunger website. And those poems are being used in classrooms, at pulpits, and in, in houses of worship, uh, in hung and un at anti-hunger organization meetings and the like. So that's a little bit about me um, and I'll turn it over to my good colleague, T.A. Niles. Uh, thank you, Hiram. And uh, I will echo that thank you, James, that Hiram extended for the opportunity to be here and talk about this, the launch first of all, and the auction that will run from December 3rd through December 17th. About me, we don't need to talk about much. I'm just a guy who enjoys <laughs> who enjoys uh, contributing to what other people are bringing into the world that creates goodness. Um, and that's why, sadly, our other colleague who's been slaving away at this, uh, J.C. Wayne of the Poe Archery Project, and who also sponsors the Guild of Good, um, that's why it's such a thrill for me to be um, linked and collaborating with these two incredible individuals. Both are incredible poets. JC is also a visual artist, which is, uh, you know, most of the artists that we will be featuring at the auction have come to us through JC's artist network. And uh, of course, the poets came through Hiram's Poetry X Hunger Network. So I I'm just the guy on the outside thrilled to be involved with this project, James. What is the art auction all about? What are its purposes and how long will it run? Well, um, everybody may have different ideas about what it's about, but for me, it's about contributing to the incredible work that Feed the Children is doing across the globe. That is the primary uh, purpose, to help raise funds for that organization because we're all admirers of what they do. Um, and secondly, for me, it is the opportunity to demonstrate that art, whether it's poetry, visual art, and collaboration between the two um, can just add to the goodness again. I'm going to use that word a lot, James. Good, good, good. Um, because these sorts of endeavors for me, uh, what it's all about. It, it's doing good in the world that we live in today. Uh, we have enough news about things that I don't consider <laughs> as good. So um, that's the purpose, to help raise funds for Feed the Children, to highlight the work of the artists and poets that have collaborated to make this auction possible. Uh, what and else? How oh, long how, will oh, it, oh, yes. Yeah. How long? Yes. Well, the launch, as you know, is this Saturday, uh, December 3rd at uh, 
2 p.m. Eastern time, and I'll skip all the other time zones. We can figure that out. And it will run through December 17th uh, at the same time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. So we've got two weeks where people can look at the art, read the poetry. And if they don't want to bid on items, that's perfectly fine. I don't mean to steal your thunder. I know I have a question coming up. But people can donate uh, directly to Feed the Children through the links we've provided and any other way they choose to, to donate. Hiram, what has been the process of all of this up to this point? Um, great question, James. It's been, I think the, the way I would describe it, it has been a total collaborative process. And I mean by that, communities have collaborated, communities of artists, visual artists and poets have collaborated, the three of us have collaborated, J.C. Wayne, T.A. Niles, and I have collaborated, um, all as T.A. just said, with a key focus, a, really a laser focus, on bringing the arts to bear in a fundraising sort of way uh, to support organizations like Feed the Children, which work deeply in the U.S. as well as around the world. So it's been a a partnership throughout and then we've pulled in a number of other key colleagues like James Bryant mm -hmm. uh, to help us uh, amplify the message and get the signal out. Also, let me just say that the artists and poets literally come from all quarters of the world. Uh, we have uh, artists and poets from India, Australia, Zimbabwe, Honduras, Ireland, and of course, from across the U.S. So this is not a local initiative. It's, it, it certainly uh, speaks to local needs in terms of anti-hunger efforts, but it is a global effort as well because hunger is with us locally, uh, regionally, nationally, and definitely globally as well. Thanks, James. And if, if I can throw a little bit in on that process, James, about 10,000 emails um, going back and forth. Uh, we've got folks who do literary magazines that are putting the, the auction into their products. Um, it, it's really been re incredible, the, the number of people and organizations that have helped in the process so you know the it began with the the artists going to poetry x hunger and finding poems that spoke to them about hunger and then using their own resources their talent etc to create art pieces these are originals yes. um that that we are offering up for auction on saturday through the 17th um so we had to better world the auction site that we are using has been incredible extremely responsive feed the children uh you know stacia sturman and john ricketts who you know we've done a video he's they did a video that we've tried to share with folks everybody has just been incredible in their support for this effort and we are certainly grateful to you and the spofest community for allowing us to share this information as well yes a lot of moving parts to all of this <laughs> You have named um, several different people. Are there any other primary collaborator, collaborators that you guys would like to uh, make uh, mention of? Hmm. I'm not sure if I missed any or Hiram's missed well, any. You know, um, I have to kind of go back just a couple of years. Uh, Poetry X Hunger would really not have gotten off the ground without support from the United Nations Food and Ag Organization, Food and Agricultural Organization. And from with support from various arts councils, as well as food banks. Uh, and I, I'm sure that Poartry, the Poartry Project, has also received similar kind of enthusiastic support and endorsement. So it's been a groundswell as TA has indicated of interest um, that has built on uh, the momentum created early on by a number of these other key partners. We haven't really had to convince 
anyone to get on board. Their questions tend to be not so much why should I be interested in this cause, it's more how can I help the cause? And that's a wonderful kind of reaction to have on everyone's part. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned the poetry project, uh, J.C. Wang. Can you give us some insight as to what she's doing with that? Kia, would you like to... Well, I, I can jump in. Um, we, we don't have a whole lot of time because for, if I were trying to talk about all that J.C. Wayne does, yeah. um, I think we'd need a couple hours. Um, but is, essentially, J.C. does a, a, a number of things. I mean, I have joined her voicing, let's see, can I say it, voicing art, which is, uh, it's not quite an open mic. It's, it's a group where... Um, Poets respond to artwork, and generally it's been uh, children from uh, around the globe. Uh, what did we do, Hiram? I think you participated in one, whether it's Ukraine or, you know, a number. Of, so that's one thing, of course. JC does her own creative work, uh, both in poetry and in visual art, uh, sponsors other people who are doing the same. She's not here today because she is mm -hmm. curating, uh, she's doing an installation of an, an art what do, you, what do you call it? I'd exhibit, I guess. Uh, I, I'm not well schooled in, in culture. so, But that's why she isn't here today, because she is busy hanging art pieces and creating an installation uh, of art in Vermont, where is uh, one of her bases, because she's also uh, on a board here, I believe, in, in New Mexico, if you will, um, with the New Mexico State Poets Society uh, I believe is the name of it, but she's doing, she is uh, the lead for a children. Um, I don't know the titles, James, but to tell you what JC does, it's just a ton. Um, she's a trailblazer. She really is. I was so lucky to uh, visit with her or meet her in the Zoomosphere probably now about nine to 10 months ago. Um, and, you know, it was clear from the word get go, just in the terms that she used, pole archery which, you know, obviously mashes up the notion of poetry and art in service uh, to different important causes. I think she's one of the few who is doing this sort of work uh, here in the U.S. and probably around the world. And so I think I, think I can speak for T.A. I know I can speak for me. I consider myself very, very lucky to have uh, met her, encountered her, and encounter her creative spirit, her commitment to uh, these sorts of important causes, and then her uh, amazing ability to help organize oh. events like we've got coming up. Indeed, indeed. Um, either of you can uh, feel this one. Uh, what can people expect during the launch on this event on Saturday? Aram, do you want to jump in? Well, I think just, you know, an incredible blowout experience. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what we're going to what we're going to really key in on um, are trying to showcase some of the amazing creative collaborations that have occurred, as T.A. described here a few minutes ago, between the artists and the poets. We're going to allow or bring the poets to the mic, have them read the poems that then uh, inspired the creative juices of the visual artists. And of course, we'll be showing the artwork as well that was created. So we're going to really be showcasing that. We're also going to have some key uh, leaders and shakers in the arts world, in the poetry world, and in the hunger world. Uh, they're either in person or on tape to comment about the important role that the arts can play in speak what I say, speaking back to hunger. Um, and so it's going to be a, a fulsome uh, two to three hours of, of visiting with each other about this important, important role um, that the arts can play uh, in re responding to and addressing key social issues like hunger. And in addition, we will go through the Better World auction site 
for those who are interested in participating in the bidding process. Um, so we will try to walk folks through to make this as easy as we can. We've also created a um, auction guide, an, an art auction guide uh, for folks to take a look at with uh, screenshots and the whole nine yards so that anybody interested in bidding can take a look at that document, which is available on the Poetry X Hunger website. And uh, I just did a blog today with about 5,000 links to everything you would ever want to know about this project. And I'm sure before we're done, there'll be a few thousand more. Um, but anyway, so we will do that. Um, so it's going to be a showcase of uh, of art and people who care that that is the bottom line um, and you're you know, the PA, if we talk to him uh in a certain way he may even be willing to sing a little bit for us and <laughs> a little bit of dancing now i i want to interrupt the process here just to also indicate the key key role that ta has played in all of this he just mentioned his blog spot which is an amazing vehicle for getting the word out and he's pulled together in today's blog about the auction. Uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop for everything you need to know, want to know, care to know about the auction. Um, and, and he's bringing all of that energy and talent to bear. And it was T.A. who first came up with the idea of increasing the impact of our work through supporting fundraising, especially for causes like Feed the Children. And he's also the first one who came up with the idea of, well, artists are creating artwork, let's auction it. <laughs> and so here we are looking to, uh, two days from now at, at holding the first, I think this is the first ever kind of auction like this that I certainly I'm aware of. Yeah. Will there actually be someone doing, you know, hey, 25, 25, 35, 20, you know, all that kind of stuff? Or is it going to be more like a silent auction? <laughs> if we had known that you were that talented, Jim, <laughs> we, we would have had you lined up for this. So, Unfortunately, you know, kinda... whenever I do that, I, I can only say 25 and 35. I can't do any other numbers. So <laughs> that might be a problem. Um, we should mention that we've got a goal of raising 2500 and we hope that we blast the lid off of that goal but that's what we're shooting for at this point yeah okay yeah. I think from what we've heard so far from some of the folks in the background and some of the emails we've received, some people have been offering bids before the auction has begun. So <laughs> we're hoping that that is a trend and that it, it portents good things to come, like yes, lots of money going to feed the children and lots of kids and adults and whoever is hungry because feed the children does quite a bit more than just feed the children they do quite a bit more their disaster relief is is something that's pretty special and john ricketts the gentleman whose video we're highlighting today on the in the poetry x hunger group and everywhere else that i could <laughs> splash it across facebook uh, that gentleman is at the top of the food chain in terms of uh dealing with disaster relief and so forth so feed the children you know even though it's a, a very important thing to feed children they do a whole lot more and that's one of the reasons that we selected this particular organization so that uh, your hard-earned funds are going to a very good cause or many good causes an amazing bundle of services and as ta mentioned earlier on if for any reason you're shy of bidding or even if you do bid you are still able to contribute uh, to feed the children. Uh, and, you know, any amount is absolutely welcomed with uh, joy. So um, we'll have uh, all the information about how you can make this kind of contributions or donations direct to feed the children when you get to the launch site. Yep. What type of response have you had with all this? I mean, you know, all that hard work and energy that you, that you guys put into this, you know, the one thing that you guys want the most is people to respond. Have you gotten a pretty good response up to this point? Hiram, since uh, most yeah. of the registrations yeah, are coming yeah, through Poetry X Hunger. Again, from folks literally all over the world who plan to attend 
Um, and it, as you can well imagine, as we get closer and closer to the time, more and more people are beginning to tune in and perk up and we're getting, uh, well, I know TA is monitoring his email. I'm trying to monitor mine. We're getting a lot of incomings about, you know, well, how can I donate by mail? Uh, I won't be able to make it, but can I join the auction during the two weeks? So we're getting a lot of interest expressed. And uh, from different, from, from all, all walks of life, we're getting uh, interest expressed. Uh, so yeah, there's, I think by the time we get online on Saturday, we hope to have a pretty big, diverse and worldwide crowd joining us. I think we will. Mm-hmm. And, and, and all of this is going to be a digital attendant, nothing um, physical, just uh, online. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yes. All online. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you, you have to let the pessimist have a word in here because, you know, with poetry, everybody gets to have a voice, right? So, right. <laughs> you know, and it, it's, it's, it's my thing, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of talk anymore, James. Uh, there, there's a lot of talk and until people actually show up and put up, um, I, I just, I just, you know, I try to keep my expectations down, even though I must say it has been, a, you know, a, a really positive response from people I may not have expected. So we're looking forward to that continuing through the entire two weeks, but especially on the launch, uh, at the launch. We're hearing Saturday. folks from, from folks well beyond the poetry community and well beyond the visual art community, too. So everyone has a stake in uh, the anti-hunger cause. And so we're, we're, the interest that we're seeing reflects that wide, wide diversity of, of interest. So December 3rd, 1, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, I've got to account for my own uh, time zone, but uh, 2 p.m. Eastern is when the event will be convening on Zoom, uh, online only. So um, I understand that this will, um, this whole process will extend much farther into the future after December third. What what's going to happen after Saturday's event? Ta, why don't you take? Okay. <laughs> well, we will continue to monitor the Better World site on a daily basis. We'll be keeping track of of bids. Um, you know, me, I'm, I'm always grateful for people who are participating. So on a daily basis, I intend to continue with um, various posts on Facebook, um, noting what's going on with different items, being grateful to the people who are participating. So that will be going on um, through December 17th. Uh, we will continue to beat the drum, um, continue to, you know, beg and plead. And, and I don't beg and plead easily, but I'm learning. (laughs) Um, So that's it really. And and just, you know, I think that gratitude that I'm, the gratitude that I'm feeling and, and I don't know hunger, like the people who do really know hunger. um, I can only imagine what it must be like, you know, uh, to, to not know where your next meal is coming from, to, to feel that pain um, and, and just be disoriented. Because I know if I go six hours without a meal, or it used to be that way, I, can't, I couldn't even function, couldn't think. <laughs> so imagine what it's like when you get that first bite of something nutritious delivered through, whether it's Feed the Children or any other anti-hunger organization. So you, you you will probably hear me beating the gratitude drum quite a bit over the next couple of weeks as as we monitor what's going on with the auction. And, uh, you know, eventually when it's over, of course, uh, we'll be sending out the the um, artwork. And be, while <laughs> I don't think we've yet mentioned this, um, we have to be extremely grateful to the artists Absolutely. who you know, when we talked about this auction initially, you know, we had thought, okay, we will, you know, for what the artists are doing, we'll we'll give them half of the proceeds and half to feed the children. And every single yes. artist yes. stepped up and said, 
we don't want or I don't want any of it, send it all to feed the right. children. Right. So we have to give them a major shout out. James, we often say that, you know, neither visual art or poetry is ever going to end hunger. We understand that. We uh, we understand our kind of humble role in all of this. But can they help? Absolutely. We need all the statistics about hunger, and it is rising. The statistics show that it is on the rise worldwide in our neighborhoods, on our campuses, in our cities, in our rural settings, it's everywhere and it's on the rise. We need all those statistics. We need all those trend lines. We need all of that information and all of the science behind trying to figure out how to address hunger. But we also need poetry and visual arts to grab the heart, engage people in ways that those statistics just simply won't. And so as we look forward uh, beyond the auction, the two weeks of the auction, uh, my guess is we'll continue to try to find innovative ways to make sure that the arts are brought to bear uh, in this struggle to, to end, eliminate, eliminate hunger. Where can people go to find more about Poetry X Hunger and how they can participate on Saturday and moving forward? I can put in the chat the web address for Poetry X Hunger or uh, TA, what do you think? Would there be a better link where they, your blog site is, is just, it's a one-stop shop for all things auction. Mm -hmm. Do you have that link handy? If not, I think I can dig it up here. Maybe we could just pop it in the. I do have that handy. Let's see. <laughs> I wanted to get my entire list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is, this one really does have uh, all the links, right. um, but poetry X hunger, that website, poetry X hunger.com also has you know the important things that people yep. will need to yep. register the the guide um you know the link to feed the children so poetry x hunger is a great website to go to my blog which i will drop in the chat here yeah, we're also, trying to make it, make it as easy as possible for folks to, folks to find the information exactly and on the facebook event um, which I can throw you that link as well. The Facebook event, I've put most of these links in as well, James. So, yeah. TA is, yeah. is put, putting all these in the chat, uh, James. Cool. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here, taking some time out. And I know, I know you guys are very busy, so uh, we'll let you go so you can get back to this very important cause. Um, so now it's up to you guys. You got some money laying around. Even just a small little bit of money will help out. Feed the children is a very important cause, especially during these holidays and all the tough times that we've been going through. So till then, we'll see you on December 3rd, 2 p.m. Central, Poetry Act Hunger presents Feed the Children. Let's get it going, people. Thank you, James. Thank, Thank you, Spellfest. Thank you, James and Spellfest, folks. <laughs>